And Jacob Jenkins Coward leads things off. Rolls to second. That's Jared Belbin. One pitch and one out. Out of your leadoff batter to see all his pitches and then working a bat to, to draw a walk to start off the game. A Great ten bat. pitch at bat for Belbin. Mm -hmm. And ball four. Those weren't even close. Two on with one out. And a line drive. That gets in front of Hoover. Bounces down for a base hit. Here's Belbin to the plate. And Campbell strikes first on the RBI single. Another breaking ball just left there in the middle of the plate there. Winners did a great job driving the ball just out to left field. Looked like the left fielder had a dive on it, but mm -hmm. wasn't able to get Third it. Base. One out. And a squeeze bunt is put on. The only play is to first, so the drives in Halston. And there it is, the Campbell offense. You know, the guys that can, can bang and hit power numbers, home runs, also can lay the bunt down. Does that hit Harrell? It does. Two in a row, it looks like that's the spot where he wants to be. This is popped up on the infield. The third baseman, Makarevich, calls for it. And it ends the inning. Who dials up a fastball. Nice snag by Harris, who's late to first. That's a hard-earned infield single. Mm -hmm. Makarevich up 3-0. and And those are four pitches, not even close. Ends in a strikeout. Campbell escapes the jam as Lloyd secures back-to-back -back case. There's the fastball down the line. Base hit, Belbin, who wants two, and gets it a stand-up, sliding, two-out double. He put on a little show there at second base. Here's a line drive. Pearson gets his pitch and delivers a two-run homer. Great job by Pearson getting that slider like we mentioned. Danny Beals wants to work that slider and fastball inside. Great job getting his hands out in front, extending and keeping it fair. Looks like that slider he wants on the inside part. He got it there. Just a great job by Pearson getting his hands out in front. A lot of times you'll see that ball driven out of the park, but foul. He did a great job keeping it fair. Coward hitting leadoff in his sophomore year. Is putting up a great example. That's ripped into the gap on three and two. Rolls to the wall and a leadoff double. Nine pitches and a great piece of hitting. Regional feel to it in week one of the season as there's a walk. These ball clubs. There's a base hit over Pearson's head, and Starling delivers a two-out RBI hit. All of a sudden, four to one as Jenkins Coward comes in. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, obviously he's waiting for his opportunity. And there it is, a two-out base hit. Nowak drives in Hoover. And East Carolina climbs within two. Extends with a big fly to right field. Makarevich sends it deep, but it stays in the park. Emotions everywhere here in Bowie's Creek. You can see it kind of getting away from him. And there's the walk. Moylan able to reach. And he goes after the first pitch. That's a sharp base hit. Five hits for East Carolina. 95 is not even close. Definitely got to assume that's probably his last batter as he loads the bases for, for the three-hole Wilcoxon. This fly ball will stay in the park for Halstead. Oh, Halstead drops it. Two runs in. A third, and Hoover scores on the blatant error. Yeah, that's a tough read. I saw the ball off the bat from a left-hander. It looks like he got inside of it, so it's going to be working right to left coming down. And I don't know if they got above the lights, and Halstead couldn't see it, but got that fastball down the middle. It looks like he was a little late, drove it high in the air, and you got to think that ball, as he gets inside, was working right to left. And never really got his feet still and always drifting. And now Starling gets hit by a pitch. How do you keep your composure here if you're Ty Cummings? Ground ball rolled to Pearson. And that just ends the inning. And a walk to start the inning. 
He lines through the right side. And moving to third is Winters. So men at the corners with nobody out. The 1-2 from Brat. Blows it by him at 97. That's some velo for the first out. And the bunt gets down in a perfect spot. So this game is tied on the RBI ground out. Ooh, that hits him on the arm. Did he hit him? Wait a second. Oh, it is a hit by pitch. Belbin caught. Great positioning by Barini. Halstead off the end of his bat. This will test Barini. And the speed of Halstead wins. That is the elite 60 yard time. Inside, a two out walk extends the inning. And that's not even close. It actually hits Lawson Harrell. So the bases are loaded. Here's the 3 2 from Sailor. Did he go? He did. And a strikeout ends the inning. And a strikeout. Jim Perry Stadium is going bonkers in this ninth inning. Can the home camels walk it off here at Jim Perry Stadium? We'll find out next. Lunsford Schenkman hits Winters. So Campbell has the go-ahead run at first. Another 3-2. Got him swinging with a slider. It was fastball heavy until the final pitch of the inning. We go to extras here to start midweek baseball. Chops it over the mound. Here's Harris. Whoa, it gets away. A throwing mistake. That's the second error for Campbell. And of the five runs for the Pirates, four have been gifted. East Carolina with 41 picks in the Cliff Godwin tenure. As this runner takes off, Nowak is safe. And the go-ahead runs in scoring position. Aaron Rund on one and one. Heading for third. Nowak is safe. Beating the tag of Chandler Riley. Got him swinging. Big pitch for the second out. And skies it into the air. With two outs, Halstead can secure it. This time, he catches it. Ball four, leadoff walk, and the go-ahead run is on. The winning run is at first base. The bunt is on, and it's placed perfectly. Lunsford Shankman bobbles, and everyone's safe. He swings into the shift. There's one, and that's it. Starling might have turned two, but he holds on to it to force a double play. Mm -hmm. Winning run at third with one out. Ball one as Nip takes second. Yep, and that eliminates the double play here, so you'll see the whole infield come in. Delivers a base hit. The Camels walk off number 11, East Carolina in extras.